know when there are just like so many things you would rather be doing than being awake. <laughs> Okay, so like I'm not confessing to be some sort of makeup expert but sometimes my makeup looks pretty good and some days it doesn't like um I, I don't know why but for some reason I put I put a highlight like everywhere and my highlight is gold and glittery so I look like a fucking disco ball right now what's that face why are you pulling that face so I've arrived at work a few minutes early so I'll fill you in on my reading plans for the day. I have the third book in the slam series by Colleen Hoover which is this girl as my workbook. I got through 30 pages yesterday. I'm hoping to get to around page 200. It has 300 pages today and then finish that work tomorrow. I only have that as a copy on Scrub so it's easier to read it on a computer while I'm at work than to try and read anything else. And then I also want to finish the last 100 pages of Warcross by Marie Lou because I'm going to try and get two vlogs up today. I'm not sure how much more I can do than that. But if I have time in between dinner and the gym, I'm then going to do the hat challenge and read Rat Queens. So um, I guess I'll fill you in after work. Look who I found. Hi. It's not Snuggy Bear. Say hello, Snuggy Bear. Hello. <laughs> Cause I know that you will okay guys so we have stuff to talk about but first i need to like get this out of the way before i even start cooking my dinner i know that we're only halfway through the vlog or like somewhere like that i'm doing my booktuber shout out right now because i need to tell you about this booktuber that i just found today and i need your attention which is why it's in the middle of the vlog okay so I just found this channel today. This girl has commented on my videos before and I've been meaning to check her out, but I honestly, like, I suck at that. I have to be on a computer because the app that I use on my phone doesn't link through to YouTube when somebody comments, so I can't do it immediately. But the booktuber is Cindy from Read With Cindy. <sighs> she is so sassy, she's unapologetic, and she's just... I, I can't even. Like, you just need to go watch her videos. I would recommend either the booktube newbie tag in which her first sentence is life is more interesting when you do things out of order which is when I, why I plan on dying before I fall in love or you could watch her booktube -a -thon, TBR which is hilarious or her wrap up what she says about Warstorm. Warstorm is one of my favourite books and, she, and she's slamming it and it's still hilarious. She also has a video that I haven't watched because I haven't read the book but it's called Six of Hoes. It's about Six of Crows. So you guys who love Six of Crows will probably love that. It's not a rant review, like she does like the book. <laughs> so if you like Six of Crows, you should definitely go check that out. I'm not sure how long she's been around. I didn't check the date on her first video, but she only has like five videos and I'm so mad because I want to binge watch her. I want to binge watch her so bad. So Cindy, if you are watching this and you have been watching my vlog, so I hope you are, you are amazing, make more videos. And if you're not Cindy, then definitely go check her out. Okay, so I've raved and now it's time to run. Reading update for the day. I am 150 pages into This Girl by Colleen Hoover. I've read 120 pages so far today as like a reading total. This book is so pointless. The other two books in the series I gave are three stars because the writing isn't great. I don't feel a great deal of chemistry between the characters and it is a romance. But the writing and Colleen Hoover is just super addictive. This girl is the first book told by Will to the point where like exact scenes are like word for word the same just as his thoughts instead of Lakin's and it's not like his thoughts are that obscure and complex that this book is necessary. While he's telling this story they are somewhere together and he's like telling her the things that happened in the first book which she knows because she was there but she wants to hear it from his perspective. Well good for you Lakin but I don't. So in between, at the start of every chapter, there's like half a page where it's like, Lakin looks at me and she says, I want to hear about our first kiss. And then he tells her, I've already read it, but he tells her. And then at the beginning of the next chapter, it'll be like, oh, it was so romantic. Now tell me about our first argument. And it's so contrived and I hate it so much. And I'm just hitting a brick wall today with reading 
because Batman, I'm not super into it. Like, I'm not compelled to read it. And, oh, this girl is, like, wading through mode. I literally read Slammed a month ago, and now I'm just reading it again from a different perspective. This is the reason that I didn't read Grey by E.L. James, apart from the fact that I also didn't re really didn't like Fifty Shades of Grey. But I would rather read Grey. I would rather read the entire Fifty Shades of Grey series again than slog through this book. But for you and for Booktubeathon, I'm going to do it. But I'm going to hate it. But I'm going to do it. That is all for now. My food will be ready in... 16 minutes which um you may have guessed i kind of need it i'm maybe a little bit hungry right now but yeah you've had a rave you've had a rant today okay guys so seeing as i've about had it with the books that i'm currently reading i'm taking a break i'm gonna go with the hat challenge and i'm reading rat queens which is a 130 ish page graphic novel about booze grizzly medieval battle maidens and i hope that they're badass and it features beautiful art like this so, I'll see you soon. You say you will go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no Okay, so the Rat Queens are my new favourite people. They're badass, they're boozy, they're sexy as hell. Oh god, I just love this so much. There's racial diversity, there's LGBT rep. Each character is the different race. I love Hannah. Let's see if I can get you some art to fill it out. There's Hannah. Hannah's my favourite. And then you've got this esmeralda looking one called d who's just beautiful <sighs> five stars i need to order more of these i don't know how many of them have been released but guys this was good and i need to take these off because oh god they're giving me a headache and oh yeah there go my plaits and now you know why i hate having things on my head five stars to this one hat challenge completed another 130 so pages down oh god guys this is good it's about the rat queens who are like a band of adventurers think like rpg games and it's like very rpg-esque and i love it you have sexy guys <sighs> essentially they get into a bar brawl and they have to do like community service questing so they have to go clear out this goblin cave and they get there and it's a trap and an assassin's been sent after them so then they're looking for the people who are trying to kill them oh it was so good it wasn't quite saga level but it's literally just under it was it was good i would recommend this as a graphic novel series and this is coming from somebody who is very new to graphic novels and is quite fussy about them but i'm really fussy about art and the art is beautiful in this and it's hilarious and it has a fell language and like sexy strong women you're gonna love it Why do you lie here in the sand like a homeless monstrosity? It literally makes no sense. Guess who didn't take her makeup off before she went to yoga? And now her eyeliner has sweated all over her face. I really need to put a light on, so just bear with me in the dark for a second. I need to really quickly 
wrap up this vlog because it is past 9 p.m. I've just got back from yoga. I've got a lot of footage again. So we're gonna just do this really quickly. So today I read 121 pages of This Girl by Colleen Hoover. As you know, I'm not enjoying it. I'm exactly halfway through and I'm really hoping to finish that tomorrow. That's for the challenge to read about something I want to do. Then I finished Rat Queens by Curtis J. Weeb and Rock Up Church. Five stars, loved it. This was for the challenge to read a book while wearing a hat the entire time, which as you know, I did. I have made no progress on Batman, which is in the sleeve. I'm going to try and read some of this tonight. I'm exactly halfway through this one as well. This is for the challenge to read a book with a beautiful spine. I'll let you know how I get on with that in the morning. But so far I've completed one book today. So that is three books, three days. And I've read a total of 249 pages I think which brings my total up to 729 pages for Booktubeathon so far. I really need to do my research before I wrap these up but I'm just like I, I promise I'll get you some accurate accurate page numbers tomorrow. Anyway that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching again. Also if you are still watching this far please comment down below and let me know if there's anything you want to see in these vlogs so that um, I have some filler to give you that you actually want if you, I don't know I don't know what you might want but if you have anything then let me know I'm gonna go edit this I will see you very soon have a lovely booktube -thon. that sounds like I'm not coming back I hope you've had a lovely booktube -thon day three and I'll see you guys in day four bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you will go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no